Make today iconic. What is up, guys? It's Upcom Sports back with the Cleveland Cavaliers Super Realistic Rebuild Part 2 of this series. Here are the objectives for the Cavs in this one. You want to get to the NBA Finals, but if you guys have not seen the rest of the parts, make sure to click the link in the description. It'll take you right to the playlist. Here in the draft lottery, we do have our first round pick, and we also have Milwaukee's first round pick. So, two first round picks in this one. So with the 16th overall pick, we're going to select Moses Moody. I believe he's a real player, a shooting guard out of Arkansas, 6'6", 185. He can also play small forward a little bit, so very versatile and a great shooter. And with the Bucks pick, also in the first round, we're going to select Precious Achua, an interior defender, power forward out of Michigan State, 6'9". A little bit undersized, but can still play the four, so he should be a good defender. And here after the offseason, this is the team. Zion is up to an 88 overall. Sexton is an 84. Pretty much the same team. Free agency has been garbage. We do have cap space, but we can't really sign anyone good. Everyone is a restricted free agent. So this is the rotation for at least this season. And Seti is going to start again at the small forward. We don't really have a lot of great wings. If we have to make a trade, then we will. We'll send Moses Moody and Precious to the G League. And same system. So here again, Zion is an all-star, which we'll come to expect pretty much every season from now on. He's putting up amazing numbers. And at the trade deadline, we're currently the number one seed. So we are absolutely cooking right now. 33 and 27 record. Not the best, but if we can keep it, keep it up, then we'll have home court in the playoffs, which would be huge for us. So James Harden is the MVP. I believe that's his second of this video. Scotty Pippen Jr. on the Magic Rookie of the Year. And Trey Young most improved. Michael Stauffer, Coach of the Year for the Thunder. And all of NBA first team, Zion was on there. Uh, I did skip past it a little bit, but he also makes all defensive second team. Pretty dang good defender. And rookie teams, looks like nobody. But checking out the standings, we did finish as a three seed. We fell off a little bit, but the Sixers and the Celtics are loaded. So they definitely have better teams than us right now. But we'll be playing the Brooklyn Nets in the first round. They already did beat us in a series, I believe the past playoffs. So it's going to be interesting. Checking out the stats, everyone playing pretty well. Even the bench. But checking out the team stats on offense, we were about 11 and defensively top five. So here in the first round, we are the three seed. We should be able to get past the Brooklyn Nets here. We do win game one, one to one now. The Nets do have a really good team though. Two to one, two two. Can we go up in this series? And we lose that one. Can we force a game seven? And we're gonna force another game seven. All of the series that we played in this video have been Game 7s. Larry Nance is going to be out, though, for the rest of these playoffs. Nothing too big, so Marquise Chris will get some burn. But Game 7 here in Cleveland, can we take advantage of our home court? And it looks like we're going to get blown out. We get blown out here, 137-108. No one having a great night for us, not even Zion. So Karis LeVert with 30. D'Angelo Russell, they have a lot of weapons on this team. So it is going to be a Rockets-Hawks finals. Kind of a weird finals for the Hawks being there, but we'll see if the MVP James Harden can win. And looks like they do come back, and he is a finals MVP. So here in the draft lottery, the Wizards have yet another top 10 pick, but obviously they gave us two second round picks instead. So here we're going to be making uh, another trade. Larry Nance, not really putting up the best numbers for us. And we don't really have any use for him. He's on a one-year deal, about, making about 10 mil. So we're going to try to trade up here with the Knicks, who need a backup center or even a starting center. They don't really have much depth at center. As you guys can see, they have a really young center. So they would need some veteran leadership at the five. And we move up three spots. So with the 15th overall pick, we're going to select Keon Edwards, a really good shooter, a small forward out of Cal, 6'7", 185. 
So hopefully he can turn into something good. We haven't really hit, hit on our draft picks yet, so. And with our other first round pick, we're gonna select a center this time. An all-around center out of France. 7-1, got some good size on him. Victor, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name. But yeah, he should be a good prospect. So here we're gonna be trading Ignaz. Uh, we did pick him up in the Kevin Love trade, but we haven't really been playing him. Still has a lot of potential, still super young. So the Spurs really need some youth at the forward positions. And they're also going to throw us a second round pick. And here is the roster after the offseason. As I said, free agency is complete garbage. 2K really needs to fix that because really everyone just gets an extension every season. And only restricted free agents make it to free agency. And the cap is ab absolutely terrible. So really all we can do is make trades to get stars or better players. Can't really use free agency at this point, but hopefully we can come up with a trade. If not, then this team will have to do, and we have to use the draft. So here at the trade deadline, Zion was not an all-star because I believe he was injured for a little bit. So he was not an all-star. Surprise, Colin Sexton has not been an all-star either. He's actually injured right now, but we are in the playoff hunt. So Nikola Jokic is going to win the MVP for the Nuggets in this one. Terrence Clark for the Heat Rookie of the Year. And Carson Edwards most improved. Mike D'Antoni Coach of the Year. Zion again making the All-NBA first team a complete monster at this point. Hasn't even reached his full potential yet, I think. So he should have made a defensive team as well, which he did. Absolute monster on that side of the ball. But no rookie teams. Checking out the standings, we did make the playoffs and we did finish as the seventh seed though. Not what we want, we wanna keep improving, but we don't really have wings, like we don't have a shooting guard or a small forward that I'm happy with, at least for Zion and Sexton to play around. But we'll try to upgrade that if we can. I do wanna keep Seti off the bench though. Kellen Grady, not a bad season, but just not great. And everyone else playing okay. So we're actually playing the Washington Wizards in the first round. We did make that Tristan Thompson trade with them, and they've been really bad. They finally made the playoffs, but we do lose game one. We bring it back in game two, steal one in Washington. They steal one in Cleveland, though, and now they go up 3-1. Please don't lose here, and we're going to lose in five games to the Wizards. Bradley Beal with a big game right there. They have Scotty Barnes. They have uh, James Wiseman. That's a big pick right there. So they've got a lot of good pieces. And Zion with a nice game right there. 12 assists from him. But just not enough from everyone else. So the Sixers and the Pelicans are going to go at it in the finals. We'll see who wins it. I believe the Sixers have already won a championship. But game seven and the Sixers take it all. So here in the draft lottery, it looks like the Spurs actually have the number one pick. And they do get that, but we have our first round pick. With the 16th overall pick in the draft, we're going to select Derek Miller, a small forward out of DePaul, 6'7". I know we're selecting a lot of wings, but we really haven't found one that's starting caliber yet. So here is the roster after that offseason. As I said, no one in free agency really that we're signing. Zion did get a big extension though. He is our cornerstone for the franchise. But everyone else, pretty much the same. We're just using the draft at this point. And we haven't been successful in finding really a star player. Or even a really good player in the draft. Just some solid players. But we are going to start Moody. I think he could be the next guy that we focus on. And he could be a really good wing for us. So we'll send Derek Miller and Victor to the G League. But same system. So Zion's going to be an all-star again. No surprises there. Still no Colin Sexton though. I would have expected him to make it. And you're at the trade deadline. We're going to check out how we're doing. Pretty big win streak that we're on. 30 and 24 right now. So we're the sixth seed right now. Not too bad, but hopefully we can jump into the top three, which we did in the past, but we lost in the first round. 
So I was looking at some trades and I think I found one that could help us out for the future and maybe even right now. But the Clippers really need a center and they need a young center because they have complete garbage at center right now. They also have two really similar shooting guards about the same age. They were actually the same draft class. So they're not going to start both of them. They have Kyrie Walker and also Cash Stanley back to back first round picks top five picks. So I see that they can trade one of them and they really need a center badly. They've got complete trash. So here's the rotation after that trade. We are going to move Moody to small forward. His overall doesn't go down. So he can definitely play that. And I think we get somewhat better with that. We definitely become a better shooting team, which we definitely need. So Jokic is going to win back-to-back -back MVPs. And the Spurs get rookie of the year. John Morant, sixth man on the Celtics. The Celtics are just insane in this game. They have so many assets. But Zion, again, All-NBA first team, absolute monster. And no one else, Colin Sexton, has really been letting me down with the awards. But guess he's not that type of player. And checking out the standings, though, we did make the playoffs again. Seventh seed, though. I don't know what it is, but we're kind of gravitating towards the seventh seed a lot. And we're going to be playing the Sixers. Absolutely loaded team right now. So hopefully we can finally get past the first round. And we actually did against the Bucks, but we haven't done much since then. So we'll check out the team stats. On offense, we were number seven on defense, also top 10. So here in the first round against the Sixers, very tough matchup. Can we get it done? And game one, we actually win. I don't know what's up with us winning game ones. And we also go up 2-0 now. This would be insane if we can upset them. But it looks like Zion did get injured. It is day to day. But that is a big injury. We were up 2-1. Hopefully that doesn't impact us too much. We'll see what happens. And we lose that one. Zion still not back. 3-2 now. 3 lost in a row. Zion's finally back. But it might be too late. It might be too late for Zion Williamson here huge loss right there but we'll give him his minutes back and hopefully he can carry us to two more wins if not we're gonna lose in six and we'll see what happens with zion three to two though and we are gonna lose in six games absolutely disappointing Basti with a nice game though a double double from him one steal one block but zion not doing the best neither did cash stanley he shot horrible from the field over five from three this team is just insane so somehow the Spurs go from having the number one overall pick to now being in the finals. Don't get that too much, but the Knicks are going to sweep them. KD winning a ring. Okay. Does the Cavs curse really exist? Can we help Zion out? Watch part three to find out. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment on the road to 300 subscribers.